Ugh. There may not be snow here, but the wind still settles right in your bones. Yes, it's often coldest in places without snow. <sighs> Apologies for dragging you so far north, and then saddling you with reconnaissance duties. Still, how are things looking? Thought for sure we'd see signs of the enemy by now, but I've got nothing. You really think those Srang folks are coming over these mountains? Seems like a pretty risky plan. Oh, they will come. It's in their nature. And if I know their leader, this will be a much larger raid than normal. They tried to raid us during the confusion at the capital too, right? So are Fargus and Srang mortal enemies or something? I don't know if I'd go that far, but we've definitely got something of a history. Even back when I was a kid, there was open fighting between the two. When Fargus won, the Srang leader offered up his youngest son as a prisoner of war. The same son who's now leading this current raid. After he was surrendered to Margrave Gautier as a prisoner of war, he was held here for some time. The Margrave lost his wife to the Srang offensive, and I know he harbored many ill feelings towards their people. But he also hoped to improve relations between the two peoples, and thusly treated his prisoner well, teaching him our language and customs. Sadly, the prisoner did not appreciate the effort. He fled Margrave Gautier at his first opportunity and scurried back home. But if Srang offered him as a hostage, why would they welcome him back? It's all a bit muddled and unclear. Father dispatched men to find out the truth of the matter, but everyone feigned ignorance. Still, he now leads the Srang forces, which means they must have at least some respect for the man. Doubtless, they were pleased when he walked in the door with inside knowledge of Fodlan practically oozing from his pores. You've got one interesting neighbor, I'll give you that. Things are tougher in the north than I thought. I'm glad you've come to understand our situation, at least in some small part. Our preparations are complete, Father. Perhaps it's time we gather the generals? Yes. Once everyone is here, we'll depart for the Ruska Mountains and take shelter at the stronghold in the foothills. That stronghold again? We're practically retracing the entire northern campaign at this point. Yes, that is where hostilities began, isn't it? Your Majesty, House Gautier should have been able to handle this situation ourselves. Pray forgive me for dragging you into it. Not at all. Gautier and Fraldarius have long been allies in the fight against the forces of Srang. It is only right that the leader of House Blathed should come to your aid in a time of such crisis. I'll be counting on you and Sylvain as well. Don't worry, we'll send these folks packing. Great. In that case, maybe I'll kick back and let you do all the... Kidding. Kidding. Of course, I'll give this everything I have. Well, except my life. I'll be keeping that. I'll do my best as well, Margrave. Though, having ceded the Fraudarius title to my son, I fear I am not but a common military man now. False modesty ill suits you, Rodrigue. Now let's all go out there and make our king proud. Soldier. Not a problem. I've got this. We will proceed as planned. We must steer you loud and clear. I'll make sure. We must act now, before the worry sets in. I is a Fargus. I task you now with this. Defeat the forces of Srang and prove your might anew. Ah! Ah! 
will hold down the strong. You focus on dispatching the enemy. Out of the way! I've awaited this moment. Let's crush the defense. Let's take the stronghold. the same fight as well. Not sure how I feel about that one. Proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the... Not a problem. I've got this. I'm ready to go. Inside the young Margrave and late king once again. It's quite the sensation. I'm honored you think I stack up to my father. I can't help but feel like I pale in comparison. Let's do it. Enough of that. You are more than worthy of the comparison. I can one day take his place as the Margrave. And hey, Dimitri's already blazed that path, so he's gotta know what he's talking about. Not a problem. I'm here. We will proceed as planned. About. <laughs> Stay on the defense. Not a problem. I've got. It. We will proceed as planned. We must. <laughs> Perhaps we should take the fight to our enemy instead. <laughs> These wild tactics remind me of my father's chess strategies. Wait. I think they might be trying to reach our base. This stronghold will fall. You'll see this! Got 
you try. Hear you loud and oh. I've awaited this moment. My father's first wife. The one who died in the Serang Rings. What was she like? She was a classmate of ours at the Academy. And the star pupil of the Black Eagles. I understand he earned his Wall of Ice moniker after she was lost. Indeed. Before that, he was a lively young man. Cheerful and friendly to the last. Everything is going swimmingly. I doubt even Lambert could find fault with us. I pray my son isn't causing you or his majesty. Give me a hand, your majesty! I will give you that! Stand We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Take a breather. Here it comes! Take this! You're done! That should make things easier, but there's still the commander to deal with. This payback yeah. has been years in the making, Gautier! Out of the way! He wanders as loud as a cannon. That must be who we're looking for. I've got this. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform. I'm Stand back. Clear. I'll make short work of this. I shall take the lead. I'll see you in hell, I guess. Impressive. Proceed as planned. 
We must strive to come and allow me. <laughs> Resounding success. Don't hate us for this. Our way of life hangs in the balance. Not a problem. I've got this. It's been a long time, old friends. I hear your brother kicked off. Hey, you tried. Yes, he did. But what do you care? You're the one who left us behind, remember? Got you! Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of I shall take the lead. Too highly of my troops. But I can retreat with my pride intact. Yeah, and don't come back. Or if you do, at least leave your weapons and soldiers behind. <laughs> I'll think about it. Lady Luck was on my side. I think I'm getting the hang of this. The more I'm capable of, the more I can help His Majesty. Descended upon us like a storm. I've never seen the people of Srang fight with such ferocity, and their leader was a pure terror. Still, I thought that man more discerning than to simply attempt to batter his way into Fargus. Sounds like someone lit a fire under them. Probably convinced them this was their chance to take out the kingdom, what with our being occupied with the Empire and all. But who would this Flamestoker be? Someone from Adrestia, perhaps. We can't discount Cornelia and her ilk. They're like a bad rash that won't go away. It will take time to pin down the truth. But even if this is the result of some outside influence on the Srang clans, the fault still lies with me. I never should have educated that man. Don't blame yourself, father. The people of Srang do not speak the language of Fodlin, had he never learned it. Yet Sylvain was only able to get through to him as a result of your teachings. And though his words lacked compassion, it was still quite remarkable to hear him speak at all. I was raised to think of the Srang people as demons who emerged unbidden from the snowy tundra. 
considering that, exchanging even a few meager sentences with them feels like a miracle. <sighs> I agree with His Majesty. We will never achieve peace without understanding each other. And you know we can't end this through sheer force of arms alone, Father. We already understand our enemy perfectly well. They fight for a port that is not choked with ice, and for land that is warm and fertile. Yet Fargus is hardly a region of abundance, and there is nothing we can spare them. So how exactly do you hope to achieve peace amidst such scarcity? I don't know, yet. But I'll keep searching for a way, even if it takes my entire life. Ugh. You remain as naive as ever, boy. Matthias, wait! Apologies, Your Majesty. I will go speak with him. You should make ready to head back. What the Margrave says is reasonable, yet... I sense an earnestness in your words as well, Sylvain. Oh, I'm earnest, all right. I'll drag our people kicking and screaming to peace if that's what I have to do. Peace with Srang doesn't sound like some hopeless ideal to me. I'm sure you'll find a way to pull it off. <laughs> Thanks. That means a lot. Regardless, we must eliminate this threat if we ever hope to free ourselves from the power of the relics. Still, there's no reason we must do so through military might and bloodshed, if another way will suffice. I appreciate the way you think, Sylvain. I truly do. And I'm always impressed with how much you hate warfare, considering how good you are at it. Is your father going to be okay? He didn't exactly take well to your opinion back there. Trust me, I've been his son for long enough to know that the feelings he keeps private can fill a library. If he really thought I was some kind of naive idiot, he'd have kept it to himself. There's something else weighing on his mind here. I'm certain of it. There you are, Matthias. Do you remember the night of the ball, Rodrigue? Back in our days at the Academy? You, me, and Lambert grew weary of the festivities and stole away to train by ourselves. How could I forget? The stars in that sky were a true sight to behold. We talked about all sorts of things that night. It was the first time we ever discussed our dreams for the future, and the last as well. Lambert told us how he hoped to forge a peace between Fargus and the people of Srang in Dusker. Ha! <laughs> he certainly did. And once he was named King, the man did his best to see it through. Srang may have been a lost cause, but he worked tirelessly to bring Dusker into the fold. I called him naive that night. His dreams sounded like the thing of childhood storybooks and cradle tales. But these days I wonder if I wasn't the naive one. He always took the long view of things, saw the whole continent unfolding before him. But me? I've lost too many over the years, and their blood clouds my vision. I could never see things now as he once did. Could there really be a pathway to peace? Ah. You haven't changed one bit, Matthias. If you regret what you said to Sylvain, I suggest you find him and apologize before this goes any further. Yes. Yes, you're right. <laughs>